So men's health is something that uh, I think is really, obviously it's really important, but for a lot of guys, most of you out there, and even for myself for most of my life, it's like, hey, we're invincible. I'll worry about my health if it ever becomes a problem. Or even like my dad used to always say, I'm gonna die someday anyways. Um, and those are all great and sound good and everything. But the truth is, is that it doesn't actually work that way. That when you actually lose your health, when you have a, your back goes out or you start to get in digestive issues, or you start to feel like not a man anymore, you start to have hormone issues and you just feel kind of like blah, all the time um, or, or just lethargic all the time the truth is is that at many times at that point it's a whole lot more work than if you did it in advance but if you are one of those guys this video will hopefully inspire you it'll get you thinking outside the box and some sh some stuff you can change to get yourself moving in the right direction with your health i've always found that the most difficult thing to do is get a guy thinking differently about his health because we're set in our ways and again I, like i said we're invincible until we're not invincible for me for most of my life, I drank Dr. Peppers every day. I, uh, I ate junk food, did you know, ate McDonald's. Ate, I, the dollar menu was awesome at McDonald's for me for a good all the way through college. Um, and so I just did the, kind of what everyone else did, just ate like junk and did my thing. I always exercised and worked out because I played sports, and so I, that stuff was important to me. But it, it, you know, after college, there, there was a point in time after college where I just kind of like sat around. I ate. I didn't really do a lot of, uh, you know, I drank beer, did all that kind of stuff, just like a lot of guys will do, and. For me, I don't really gain weight from that kind of stuff. I just feel like junk. I actually lose muscle and just look really skinny. And so for me, that was actually the, the, the kind of red flag for me is I was tired of being tired all the time. Like I, I didn't have drive in life. I just was exhausted and felt inflamed. I started having digestive issues from that. I started creating uh, skin issues from it. And then it kind of got to a point where I like felt like I really had to do something different. And so that was my point. So for you guys, if that if you're already there, make this your point. Don't wait till it gets bad enough. And there is things you can do, and, and putting the time in it for yourself is so very important for guys. And so here's what I'd say for guys as well, is that we're called to actually work, we're called to produce, we're called to be the leader of our household. And if you don't have a household, then to get yourself ready to have one someday. But you're called to do that. So sitting around watching TV, not exercising, not getting out and being physical, that's just unmanly. So I'm just gonna call you out right now and saying that's just lazy. And so if you don't care about your health, I'm gonna tell you the truth, you're lazy. That's the truth right there. And so I, it's, sometimes it takes that for a guy to realize, you're right, I am lazy and I need to change my ways because the truth is is that it is going to, it isn't you're gonna die someday anyways, it's gonna affect your family. And so unless you want your wife and your kids to be taking care of you someday in a nursing home or taking care of you and putting diapers on you, then you might wanna do something about it now. Cool? So hopefully I shocked you a little bit. So here's what you can do as a guy. First thing, and for guys, this is, you know, so I talk to a lot of guys about their health and they're always thinking like, hey, I gotta have this planned out. So I gotta, I gotta get my diet right first. I gotta, uh, I have to, uh, you know, have the right eating plan. I have to have somebody else to work out with. I have to have my workout plan first. I gotta get my gym membership first. But I'll tell you for guys, the very first thing you can do and the very first thing you should do is act on it. There's one thing that I can tell you testosterone does for you is it, it makes you someone that just goes, you act, okay? So for as a guy, you don't need a plan. You don't need to think about it. You need to lay down right now and you start doing push-ups, okay? You need to actually start doing something. So I'm gonna challenge you right now, if you're listening, that your new challenge, whether you're someone that exercises all the time or used to exercise in the past, or this is a first time for you, I'm gonna challenge you right now to do 50 push-ups every single day. You know, uh, Herschel Walker, he's, you might know of him as an old football player, but he's now in the martial arts world. And I, I was listening to an interview with him, and you know what, they asked him, they said, how do you just stay fit, you know, for so long throughout your life? You're an older guy now, how are you still doing it at this age? And you know what he said? He said, I do one push-up a day. So think about that, one push-up a day, how's that gonna get you fit? Well, when you lay down and do one push-up, guess what happens? Well, you might as well do two or three or four, or might as well do 50, right? So I'm gonna challenge you, 50 push-ups a day. It doesn't have to be in a row. You have 24 hours a day, 50 push-ups, and I promise you that will get you shifting in the right direction. So number one action step, start doing 50 push-ups a day. The second action step I want you to start doing is start adding steamed broccoli into your diet. That's it, add steamed broccoli. I don't care if you like it, eat it anyways, it's broccoli. It's not like it's, it's like, the devil, just eat the broccoli. And you can move on to other vegetables, but I want you to start with broccoli, steam broccoli every single day, and 50 push-ups. Cool, you can start doing that. All right, and then now, as you're doing those two things, I want you to start to plan. Now you make your eating plan, and I'd, I'd highly recommend an anti-inflammatory eating plan. For guys, you need plenty of healthy meats. Guys that are vegan, I'm telling you, it's not gonna be a good way to go. 
right? And we can go back and forth on that, but I'll just tell you straightforward, it's not as good for your digestive health, it's actually not as good. There's enzymes you need in meat for health, there's protein that you need, there's a lot of reasons why we need to be eating meat. If you go back in the errors and errors and errors years ago, that's what people survived on. So I, I highly recommend getting cool, good grass-fed organic beef, a grass-fed or free-range organic chickens, free-range organic eggs, those are very, very important for guys especially. Make sure you're getting plenty of healthy fats. Health fats are actually a key source to your hormone production. So if you wanna get testosterone up and growth hormone up, you gotta have fat in order to do that, right? If you're a guy and maybe you're in your 40s or 50s and they put you on cholesterol medications or even blood pressure medications, I'm gonna encourage you to do everything you can to figure out how not to have to take those anymore because cholesterol medications will actually lower your cholesterol. And guess what one number one thing you have to have to produce testosterone is? And you actually have to have it to produce all your sex hormones. It's cholesterol. So if your cholesterol is up and high, and they're telling you to take a drug to get it down, you're actually inhibiting your body's ability not only to heal itself, because cholesterol is a key, in, key part of healing, but you're inhibiting your body's ability to produce the right amount of hormones that it needs. If your cholesterol was high, it's because you're stressed out, and your body needs more cholesterol to produce cortisol, and to produce testosterone, and produce all your hormones that you need to handle that stress. So you're actually stressing yourself out more by taking that cholesterol medication. So find ways to not have to take that. If you're taking a blood pressure medication, we need to find out why your blood pressure is high because it's going to affect your testosterone, it's gonna affect your sex drive, it's gonna affect your magnesium and potassium levels, it's gonna have a huge impact on your health. So we gotta figure out how you're on that. So if you're on any medication at all, really, as a guy, we gotta find out why. We're gonna change and shift that for you. You know the number one cause of death in men is actually heart disease, but the, the, fastest, um, the fastest growing cancer for men right now is actually breast cancer. Now why would breast cancer for guys be the fastest growing cancer for men? It's because the foods that we're eating, the high stress that we're in, the chemicals in our environment that we're putting on our bodies that we're living around all the time, are high, high estrogens. They actually increase estrogen in our bodies and lead to breast cancer. And so that idea of the dad bod, where you have this little belly here and, and, and man boobs, I guess you could say, that's not a healthy thing. I don't care if people say it's a good thing. It's not a healthy thing and it tells you that you probably have too many estrogens. So I, go, I moved into that level right there of hormones because hey, if you're someone, you're, you're exercising, I wanna to talk to this person, if you're exercising, you're doing all the right things, you seemingly eat healthy, you're already moving into that anti-inflammatory diet, you've already taken out stuff like gluten and, 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 um, and sugar, tons of sugar and things like that. Hey guys, by the way, sugar will be the number one crasher of a man's testosterone and everything that turns to sugar. So one of the hard things for a lot of guys is actually beer drinking beer a lot, and that will actually crash your testosterone level. So these are all things you have to address. These are hard things to address, but when I started out this video, I said it's time to man up and quit being lazy. That's part of it. You actually have to commit to making changes in your life, and part of those changes are your diet. Cool? So part of that shifting out of sugar is going to help your hormone levels, and I'm going to talk about hormones now. So if you're a guy that, let's say you do everything right, you're eating organic food, you're exercising uh, on a regular basis, you're um, working on your mindset, you're you've taken chemicals out of your environment, your next step now, if you're still like maybe hitting walls or you just you wanna go to a next level, your next step is actually to test your hormones and see what they're doing. And that could be, and that those hormones, I'm, I'm not just talking about testosterone, te testing your LH levels, which comes from your pituitary, it tells your your, your gonads to actually produce testosterone. So if that's low, you're gonna have issues with testosterone. Uh, test your estrogen levels. If your estrogen is high, you're not gonna burn fat. You're gonna have a, a belly around here. You're gonna have what in essence is man boobs. And that's because your estrogen levels are too high. You can be doing, I've, I've had, I have a good buddy who was doing a, uh, the, a 75 hard challenge, which is what a lot of us are doing right now. But 75 days of two workouts a day, eating a ridiculously clean eating plan and not cheating for 75 days and he's still having trouble losing that midsection area. And it was when we actually did his testing and found out estrogens were high and started to shift by doing certain herbs that can lower your estrogen levels, now he's starting to cut down. I have another buddy, same thing, exercising every day. He went from in 30, uh, 35 or 40 days, he went from 19% body fat to 12% body fat just by balancing hormones. He was already doing the other stuff. So start with doing the eating good, start with doing the exercising, start with detoxing your environment and chemicals out, then move into testing, which is testosterone, free testosterone, I'm sorry, total testosterone and your free testosterone to make sure total is converting into free, which is the, the way you can actually use it. LH levels, which is what tells your body to produce testosterone. 
E2 or estrogen levels, estradiol levels, that'll tell us what your est part of what your estrogens are doing that we can affect. Your uh, sex binding, uh, sex hormone binding globulin. So tell it, tell how well that's that levels are. Those are some of the main things. CRP levels to tell if your body's inflamed. And then if you're really fatigued, if your guy's just fatigued all the time, if you're having trouble with weight gain, you've been trying some things but it hasn't working, it might be a thyroid, so you might wanna check your thyroid as well. But those hormones right there will now tell us if we can start to balance those with the right herbs, the right eating plan, it's gonna be a game changer. And then when you start getting your testosterone back to normal, when you start getting your hormones back to normal, you're gonna change everything in the way you feel. And I'll just tell you a personal story for me. Uh, you know, growing up when I was 18 years old, I took something called Accutane, and uh, Accutane is for acne. So I had really bad acne uh, in high school and into college, and I took Accutane just because I wanted to get rid of it. I tried every other medication, it wasn't working. And it, it's a, Accutane, what it does is it actually affects the pituitary gland and starts to crash hormones so that you can get rid of acne, right? So even though my acne was coming from gut issues and other problems, the approach was give this medication, just get rid of the hormones. So they did that, my acne went away, thought everything was great, but then very quickly after that, I started having extreme anxiety, started getting depression, all the signs that come from low testosterone. And what I, and, and over time, I didn't actually know to test this because I didn't know this stuff until a while back is, is my LH levels got really low because my pituitary gland wasn't working properly because of a medication that I took. And so I was having all these symptoms of low testosterone, but not knowing why, I tried all the, perfect diets, I did supplements out the wazoo, I did everything I could think of, and it wasn't until I did that hormone testing and saw the LH was low, now I've supported LH and my, um, and my actual testosterone levels went back up because I'm now re helping regenerate the pituitary gland. That's pretty cool. So it's about getting specific for a lot of you, but for a lot, most, most guys, it's just about getting a kick in the butt. It's about looking in the mirror, being disgusted with what you see, and being willing to change that so that you can actually make a difference in your life. And looking and having a big reason why. Look at your wife, look at your kids, and like, is this the example that I want them to see? Do I want my wife, is my, do my wife marry this, or she wants someone that's gonna be driven to take care of their health? Because when you're healthy, you have more energy. When you have more energy, you can serve and help your family better, and you can be a better example to your family. So this is a bit of a call out video. I'm not gonna go soft with you. Hey. If you have high estrogens and this is a little too much for you, I'm sorry, but we need to shift that so you can handle direct approach like this. All right, hey, you guys have an awesome day. Make the changes today and you'll start seeing those changes just with the simple stuff. Get down, start doing push-ups right at the end of this video. You guys have an awesome day.